One very important question when you are drawing isomers is that you must always know what is not a structural isomer. And there are three things that if present that would not make uh, make uh, two molecules isomers of each other. Number one, uh, they are not flipped versions of each other. So what that means is, what that means is that if they are not flipped versions, and I would give you an example. So for example, I have a molecule in which I have three carbon atoms and there's a double bond attached at the second and uh, the, on the first and second carbon atoms. So this is the molecule, it's propene. And if I completely flip this molecule and draw it the other way around, so again I'm going to have three carbon atoms with double bond and they would be hydrogens attached so by looking at the molecule they look different but they're not exactly different they're exactly the same what has happened is that I have rotated this molecule completely uh, 180 degrees I flipped it around so if I if I rotate or flip this molecule 180 degrees I'm going to get exactly this thing over here so these two molecules are, are basically the same exact Thing. they are same they're not different they, they, the arrangement is exactly the same you're just looking at it at in a different way so flipped versions or reversed versions uh, do not make isomers they basically they remain the exact same thing so these two molecules are exactly the same thing the second thing that doesn't make uh, make two molecules isomers of each other is that if they're rotated versions of the same thing so for example I have I have propanoic acid and there's a carboxylic acid functional group and all the other atoms are hydrogen so if i try to rotate this molecule 90 degrees so all the carbon atoms would be aligned vertically and they would be double bond o and oh group over here and all the atoms attached to these carbon atoms are hydrogen so if you look at these molecules, they look different, but they're exactly the same. It's just that this molecule has been rotated 90 degrees. So it's, a, it's just a rotated version of the same thing. So these two molecules are going to be, are going to be exactly the same. So they're exactly the same. Ex so it's just, it's just a 90 degree rotation of the, of the, of the, of this molecule over here. So this molecule and this molecule are exactly the same. They're not isomers of each other. The third thing which doesn't make an isomer is that if two molecules are bent versions of the same thing. So what, that, what I mean by that is that if I have four carbon atoms, which are aligned neatly, and this carbon atom is going to have three hydrogens with it, this one is going to have two hydrogens, this one is also going to have two hydrogens and this one has three now if you look at this molecule and let's hide the carbon chain uh, the carbon chain of this uh, particular butane molecule is this one over here now if I if I bend that chain and, and there are a number of ways I could do that uh, what I could do is I could have this carbon chain bent at the second carbon atom or I could have the four carbon atoms in a line I could bend it this way and let's make all the other hydrogen atoms so all the other bonds are intact so this carbon has two hydrogens with it this one has two and this one has three the same goes for this molecule it has three hydrogens with this carbon atom two with this one and you have two with this one as well and then you have three hydrogens with this carbon atom and let me highlight the carbon chain so the carbon chain over here is that it's going it's now bent I did not break any bonds I just bent the first molecule and I drew it differently so if you look at both of these two molecules they are not isomers of this original molecule they're just bent versions of the same molecule so they are also exactly the same they're just bent versions of each other so they're exactly the same 
these two are exactly the same so it's like it's like uh, looking at your arm you could straighten it it's still your arm and you can bend it and it would still be your arm it's going to be the exact same thing so the same happens with isomers two molecules are not isomers if they are just bent versions of each other now I'm going to do an example when I'm going to show why two molecules are not isomers if they are just bent, rotated, twisted, flipped versions of each other. So uh, just what we studied, we're going to apply that. So I have this molecule over here. It's a it's a five carbon atom chain. There are five carbon atoms in a row, and from one side on the second carbon atom, there's an OH group attached. So let's uh, let's highlight that OH group. So there's an OH group attached on the second. Uh, carbon atom and on from the other side there's a there's a carboxylic acid group attached so so that group is attached from the left hand side it's on the on the first carbon atom from the left hand side and the rest is the carbon chain so let's highlight that carbon chain as well so this here is my five carbon atom uh, and they are one after the other so this is the molecule and one way when you are looking at uh, at isomers is that you try and ignore the hydrogens they're always there so so try and uh, look at the molecule without the hydrogen atoms you can always add them in at a later point so this molecule over here my guess is that this molecule over here is not an isomer it looks quite different it has the same number of atoms structurally it looks different but in reality it's not different the connectivity is going to be exactly the same so so the first thing the carbon atoms there are five carbon atoms arranged in a row so you can check this out you can see that there are actually five carbon atoms arranged in a row except for the fact that they are twisted around over here the chain was straight so i told you that if you bend something it's not going to be a different thing it's going to be the same thing it's going to remain exactly the same thing so the five carbon atoms are still in a row and we discussed earlier that uh, the OH was on the second carbon atom from one side so you can see you can check uh, the OH group and and you can you can see that it's still on the second carbon atom from one side if you if you're if you're looking at this molecule from this side so it's still at the second carbon atom and on the other end of the carbon chain there was going to be a carboxylic acid group and you can see that if you look at this chain and on the exact other side opposite side there's a carboxylic acid group over there it's present over there so that's also present over there and all the hydrogen atoms would be bonded in exactly the same way so the connectivity or the arrangement of atoms uh, is exactly the same in the two molecules they're exactly the same the OH is at the second carbon atom the carboxylic acid is at the other end the OH is over here at the second carbon atom the carboxylic acid is at the other end the carbon chains the five carbon atoms arranged in a row the five carbon atoms arranged in a row over here as well so this molecule these two molecules are not isomers and this molecule specifically is just a bent, rotated, twisted, slash flipped version of the previous molecule. So the arrangement connectivity is all exactly the same. I hope this clarifies and you must always identify when you're making isomers, you must always know which two molecules are exactly the same. MS2 molecules are just bent, rotated, flipped versions of each other.